Hey, it's Josh with Map Effects. If you're a writer or a game master who needs a map for their story and you kind of want that hand drawn classic feel that we all love, I designed the Map Effects Fantasy Map Builder so that anyone could create a map of their own with just a few clicks and a bit of imagination. In my previous video, I showed you how you could create a map of your own in Photoshop, but today I wanted to do something a little bit different and walk you through some of the features that are included in the Map Builder and how you can use them in Procreate. So let's start mapping. Once you import your brushes, you should be able to come up to your brush panel and you can see that it'll be broken into several folders. You have brushes, mountains, forests, lakes, special features, all kinds of good stuff for you to check out. So all you have to do is open up one of the folders. So let's just start with the mountains and you can see that there's individual mountains, volcanoes, and also full mountain ranges. So we can just select this, come back to our canvas, tap, and you're left with a whole mountain range that looks like it was hand drawn. So then you can come back in here, grab another set, stamp it wherever you want it. And if you want to move it, you can come up here to your selection tool. Just make sure that freehand is selected, circle around it, and then you can drag it and position it however you'd like. So we can come back in here, go to the bottom and you've got several different sets of hills that you can choose from. I'm going to add those on so that it looks like they're kind of tapering into the landscape. And if you want to, you can actually stamp it, select it, and then you can flip it. And then it looks like you have a whole new set of hills. So you can repeat using brushes and not have to worry about um, there being too much of a pattern. So then we can come back in here and select some of our forests add those in and actually I'm not as concerned usually about repeating the forest brushes just because there's so many individual trees it's kind of hard to detect that there's a pattern. You can come back in here add in a little cluster of three and there's also deciduous trees so you can add them in combine them into the same forest and if you want to you can actually come back to your selection tool select a few of them and just kind of reposition them wherever you'd like. So then we can also come back in here and if you go to your brush panel, you'll see that there's coastline brushes, river brushes, some for paths and roads, and also ocean hatching. And these are kind of fun. So if you just select this, if you had a coastline drawn, you can actually use this to outline your whole coastline. You can see that this is much faster than having to draw all these individual lines. It definitely speeds up the process. But some of the other brushes that you can use are like the lakes. So you can see that I've actually got overhead perspective and isometric included in this pack. So you could just grab one of these lakes, tap and add it in. And then we can come back up to our rivers and let's draw a small river coming out of the mountains here. And this brush is pressure sensitive, so the harder you press, the wider the river should get. And then we can come back in here and we'll just select our eraser tool. And we're just going to zoom in tight just so we can see what we're doing. Just erase away. So then it looks like the river is flowing right into the lake. So let's see, what else can we do? We can come back up to our brush panel and you'll see that if you look at some of the um, special features, you have a few banners included, as well as a couple ships, some sea monsters, several different compass. You have standing stones, castle icons, um, regular icons. And then we also have in the vegetation section, some little clumps of grass and these are kind of handy so that you can quickly add in little patches of grass. You can switch between them, change the, the grouping of them. And you also have some desert scrub, some marshes that you can use. These are kind of fun. You can really quickly add in a whole marshy area on your map. 
and depending on how you combine these you can actually cover quite a bit of area so let's see we also have the um, in the terrain features you have this arid seamless brush and this is a handy way to quickly add a little bit of terrain texture let's zoom in tight so you can see it a little bit better so you can actually paint in those little individual lines that are so tedious to normally add to your map. And this is a seamless texture tile, so you should be able to pick up your brush and just keep going with it, and just keep adding in as much as you want. Definitely speeds up the process of adding in all those little individual lines. So if you come up here into your terrain section, you can also select some cliffs. So let's actually put one in here and I'm gonna reverse it so it looks like it's actually coming down off of the mountain range. So just come up here, flip horizontal, and you have added a cliff. And actually, the other thing I've included is if you go back to your brushes, all of these features that I've drawn, I did with this excavation liner. So I included in the pack, so if you want to add to your line art, you very easily can just come up to this brush and add in little details and stuff just like you normally would and the brush will match everything else that you've added to your map because that's the brush that I use to draw all of these features. The other thing I've included in the map builder are several paper textures as well as this style border in different dimensions. So when you start a new project all you have to do is open your layer panel you can put a paper texture in the background, you could throw in the border, and then you're all set to start drawing your map. There's over 200 different brushes included in the pack. You have sand dunes, rocks, crevasses, I showed you the cliffs, and there's just a lot of different things that you can do, and it's definitely a lot faster than having to draw something like that from scratch. It's much easier to even put down a concept in a sketch. I find myself using this because then I don't get hung up on, you know, trying to draw all the mountains perfectly and getting thing, everything exact. It's just a nice, easy way to be able to just come in here and put down an idea and combine some stuff to see if I can create a map that I'll be happy going through and redrawing myself. You can see how quickly you can create a map of your own without spending hours teaching yourself how to draw, so then you can focus more on your writing and your storytelling. If you're interested in picking up the map builder, just go to mapeffects.co and visit the shop. And if you share your map on Instagram, be sure to tag me so I can check it out. I look forward to seeing it.